problem with Hollywood is they make shit. Unbelievable, unremarkable shit. Now, I'm not some grungy wannabe filmmaker that's searching for existentialism through a haze of bong smoke or something. <laughs> no, it's easy to pick apart bad acting, short-sighted directing, and a purely moronic stringing together of words that many of the studios term as prose. No, I'm talking about the lack of realism. Realism. Not a pervasive element in today's modern American cinematic vision. Take Dog Day Afternoon, for example. Arguably Pacino's best work. Short of Scarface and Godfather Part One, of course. Masterpiece of directing, easily Lamette's best. The cinematography, the, the acting, the screenplay, all top notch. But they didn't push the envelope. Now, what if in Dog Day, Sonny really wanted to get away with it? What if, now this is the tricky part, what if he started killing hostages right away? No mercy, no quarter. Meet our demands are the pretty blonde and the bell bottoms gets it in the back of the head. Bam, splat. What, still no bus? Come on. How many innocent victims splattered across the window would it take? to have the city reverse its policy on hostage situations. And this is 1976, there's no CNN, there's no CNBC, there's no, there's no internet. Now fast forward to today, present time, same situation. How quickly would the modern media make a frenzy over the city? And in a matter of hours, it would be the, the biggest story from Boston to Budapest. 10 hostages died, 20, 30, relentless, bam, bam, one after another. Caught in high def, computer enhanced, color corrected. You practically taste the brain matter. All for what? A bus, a plane, a couple of million dollars that's federally insured.
sezgi.
just a Lotus Ring system. It has a DS3 connection, which allows us to access seven different networks simultaneously. It has a central encryption that you would have to crack in order to utilize the system. Give it a try. I don't know, it's going to be pretty hard without a gun to my head. Well, maybe I should put a gun to you.